Hi to everyone who are watching this video. I'm Rosan Naik, first year PhD student at the Department of Agricultural Economics, Sociology and Education. In this video, I'll briefly discuss about the agriculture, climate and rural poverty in Dominican Republic. First begin with agriculture. Almost 30% of the total land area of Dominican Republic is suitable for crop production and that provides employment to 17% of the workforce. According to the year 2000 World Development Indicators Database, Dominican Republic has 1596,000 hectares of arable and permanent cropland. Agricultural produce include sugarcane, coffee, cotton, coca, tobacco, rice, beans, potatoes, corn, and bananas. After Cuba, the Dominican Republic is the second largest Caribbean producer of sugarcane, the nation's most important commercial crop. Output of sugar has declined annually since 1982, and land is gradually being taken out of sugar production and switched to food crops. Another leading gas crop is coffee. Coca and tobacco are also grown for export. Agricultural exports, mostly in the form of sugar, coffee, coca, tobacco, and cigars, greatly contribute to the economy of the nation. The government and private sector are emphasizing diversification to non-traditional agricultural crops such as fresh fruits, vegetables, and flowers. Climate The majority of the Dominican Republic have beautiful tropical weather all year round, with the average annual temperature hovering around 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The so-called cool or winter season runs from November. According to the latest official poverty data, more than a third of the country's total population lives in poverty and almost 20% are living in extreme poverty. Rural people include women and men who are heads of households, small-scale farmers, landless farmers, micro-entrepreneurs, small merchants, agricultural workers and laborers for rural service operators. The two important reasons for rural poverty is number one the agricultural productivity is low and second government investment in social and productive development in rural areas is limited but the profile of agriculture is changing and groups of small scale farmers are reaping the benefits of improved technologies to increase the production of vegetable export crops as a source of added income Thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful trip to Dominican Republic.